How's it going? This is Nian. So in this video, I'm going to share my overseas internships at Qualcomm. In total, I had two summer internships at Qualcomm in San Diego, California as a software engineer intern. Just in case you have never heard about Qualcomm before, Qualcomm is a leading chip company as long as you use Android smartphones, the processors are made from Qualcomm. In the meantime, they also make a lot of chips for smartphones and also uh, computers. Meanwhile, they were also a leading company in 3G, 4G, and 5G. Next, I would like to talk about what is an overseas internship. An overseas internship is for foreign students who are not currently studying in the United States. So, for example, if you are Chinese and uh, you are studying Stanford University, if you have an internship in the United States, then that's not called an overseas internship. And the overseas internship is really, really hard to apply since a company needs to not only issue a visa for that student, but they also need to buy a lot of insurance for them. Therefore, only few companies, large tech companies, can afford this kind of um, overseas internships. Next, I would like to talk about um, how I applied this internship. Basically, two internships, yeah. So, in 2018, I was a sophomore and I had no experience at all. In March, I really would like to, you know, see the outside world. I've never been to the United States before. I want to see what is uh, United States look like and has a work environment there. Therefore, I applied for over 30, I believe 30, um, United States companies. Lastly, Qualcomm gave me a offer, and uh, I was quite happy about it and really grateful to them. In 2018, there were over 400 interns, and only four of them were overseas interns, yeah. So, how about my work there? The work environment is super good. I had another internship in Singapore, and as I heard my friends sharing about their internships, the biggest difference I could feel here is at Qualcomm, your managers really encourage you to solve the problems yourself. Unlike my experience, they are not forcing you and not telling you what you should do next. Instead, they will encourage you how to solve this kind of problem. So they do not give a direct answer or solution, but encourage you to think about it. And once you have some ideas, then you, are, you can just talk with the managers. And if they think, okay, this is fine, then you just do it yourself. And whenever they find something that could improve, they will just tell you, hey, Nian, so can you tell me how, what does this mean? And uh, uh, for example, if they got something in idea, hey, Nian, I think if we change these to that, then this will make this software better. So that's my experience. And uh, my coworkers are just super friendly. They will teach you whatever um, you ask. In the meantime, the teams in Qualcomm, you know, is actually collaborating with each other. So. Uh, whenever you have some problem, probably, for example, a specific script which is written by another team, as long as you have the problem, you can just ask them, reach out to them, and they will respond very fast. So, there is a case that um, in my project there is something created in the India office, and uh, uh, whenever we send an email, send a message to them, they will just reply to us the very next day. So the speeder is very fast and I really enjoy that. Alright, but last but not least, I would like to talk about my life there. The life is just amazing. I could not use the word amazing to describe it. So for most of the interns, uh, you will be assigned a uh, roommate. Qualcomm will rent all the apartments for um, the interns. And the apartments is super cool, is super chill. Fantastic thing about it is uh, a lot of interns are living in the same community. Therefore, in the weekend or in the evening, you can just like have parties with your uh, other interns at Qualcomm. So yeah, that's super nice, right? And uh, on the other hand, um, there were also um, a lot of other activities. For example, in each weekend, they will be surfing classes. Meanwhile, there are also other outdoor activities such as basketball tournaments. There is also a day called a day at the beach. So that's a day in the weekend, and uh, Qualcomm's HRs will organize a, a lot of activities for um, all these interns. So you can just go there, chill, uh, have a lot of great food. Uh, meanwhile, there is also a hackathon, so that's an overnight hackathon. You can use a lot of um, Qualcomm's equipment and software to develop something amazing. 
Um, and there are a lot of other outdoor activities as well. Um, I cannot list all of them here uh, since there are just too many. After my internship in 2018, they gave me an written offer for the internship in 2019. And after my internship in 2019, they gave me a full time offer as a software engineer. I think this is the end for this video. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumb up button. And if you have any interesting topics in mind, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.